I would like to share about four, four thoughts. I would like to share four thoughts on God's restoration. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Four thoughts on God's restoration. Hallelujah. Mungu amekuwa mwema. Hey. Bwana amekuwa mwema, sio? So, nangependa kushiriki mambo manne yanaweza kuwa mengi lakini najaribu kujifunga ni shiriki manne mambo ambayo yanahusu uregesho wake Mungu. Nimekwambia tutakuwa na meza ya Bwana, tutaomba, alafu tutakula breakfast. Hey! I say Happy New Year. Tell your neighbor again Happy New Year. Oh, it's good to see you. 2020. Hey! You look different. You look different. Whoa! Hiya. Man, you look different. This is 2020. You look different. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 54, that's where we find the first thing that I find when I see the restoration that God is going to bring us in the year of restoration. And verse number one says, Sing, barren woman, you who never bore a child, burst into a song, shout for joy. You who were never in labor, because more are the children of desolate woman than of her who has a husband, says the Lord. Yes, when we struggle with the difficult periods in life or lost years, nyakati ambazo zimepotea, ni vizuri kujua kwamba katika hali ya upweke in the times of sadness, wakati majonzi na maswali, Isaya 45 ya uregesho, inasema hivi, we imba, we imba, burst into singing, shout with joy. Because when God's restoration comes in, he will renew your joy as well as give you a song that you have starved it for a long time. The song will come from within you. And that is the prayer that I'm praying for some of you. 2019, labda ilikuwa ngumu. Hebu buwana akukumbuke. Akupatia wimbo mpia. Ahuishia wimbo wako. Uweze kumtukuza yeye. Labda umepungukiwa. Labda huna mwana, lakini nasema rejoice, tangaza, sema msimamo, kwamba buwana atakubariki kwa sababu ni mwaka wake. Hallelujah! Anapoleta uregesho, analeta furaha. Jambo la kwanza la uregesho ni furaha. Kutoka huzuni na maumivu, analeta furaha. Katika yoweli wapili, anasema hivi kuhuzu uregesho. Mstari wa 23, be glad of people of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord, you are God. For he sends you abundant showers. Yani, wewe furahia mungu. He ni ya uregesha. When God restores you, anapo kuregesha, analeta manyunyu. Amen. Mwambie jirani yako. Wewe jirani, manyunyu yaja. Kuna manyunyu yaja, ata ngurumo ya mvua, ata ilete urundi ya uregesha. Kumekua na ukame, umeumwa mbunda mrefu, analeta uregesho, na ataleta furaha karika china la yesu. Natangaza katia kanisa letu, mwaka huu, tutakuwa na furaha kubwa, kuliko mwaka ulio pita karika china la yesu. God is going to bring it. Yes. We are going to rejoice not because things were okay 2019, but because we have faith. Na nirudie tena kama una kamera yako ile ya simu. Mupigwe selfie. Kwa sababu wengine nimeona mbadilika tayari. Ile picha ulipigwa last year. Imebadilika. Hallelujah. Yay. Hata, hata labda nitajaribu kuta, kutafuta mwendo mpia. You know, hebu ni kuulize swali. Unijibu. Kulikuwa na viura watatu wamekalia mti. Na huo mtu liku mepitie kwa, kwa mtu. Wako kwa maji. And then one of the frog decided to jump. There were three. One decided to jump. How many frogs remained? What? How many frogs remained? 
One decided to jump. Can I get an answer? Three. Three. There were three. One decided to jump. There were three. You are right. Let me tell you what, what the story, what the moral of the story is that last year maybe some of you made some resolutions and you say you are going to jump but you thought about it but you have never done it. I want to declare to somebody here, this year we are going to jump! Hey! She could decide that in the fikiri I love to na kaa na wewe tu. At me naenda maju na tu na kaa na wewe tu. Me naenda kura. Apana. Nikiamua ni kuruka. Wana yesu wa sifiwe. Tutaruka. Nyinyi ni watu wazuri. Muna pita. So there were three. They never changed. There were still three. Lakini moja alifikiria ni kuruka angiaruka. Wana yesu wa sifiwe. Oh I love this. God restores and when he restores, he will renew your joy. Anaporegesha, anafanya upia furaha yako. Kuna wengine, miaka ime, inaposonga, tumeanza kuwa na huzuni, huzuni. Hebu buwana aturegeche furaha. Friday, eh, Saturday nilienda kusherekea rafiki yangu wakifikisha miaka sabini. Muzee moja akasema hivi, ukifikisha hii miaka, oh ni ama dhina hai, maumivu na nini. Nikafikiria. Huo msemo kweli ni wa kweli. No moka dhina dhina. Must I? Must I? You see the point is if God is the one involved in my 70 then where will pain come from? Ati ni miaka ile hata senior moment inakuwaga zaidi kuliko pale mwanzo. Kuna kijana mmoja alisema wewe usiniambie nimezeeka. Sitaki. Mimi usiniambie nimepata senior moment. Sitaki. Anataka kusema no. Alafu nimeongea na mzee mmoja asubuhi ya leo. Sisi uwekana mtisha. Tulikuwa tukisema tunataka kuishi 90 years. Sasa akanambia mahali alikuwa. Sasa ameamua ni 100. Lakini mimi nilianza kumwambia, "Wewe ndio una to kuika na miaka 120. 120." Ita Then he said, "No, no, no, I've moved from 90 now to 100. I haven't the, I have no faith for 120, but I'm getting there." What I'm saying is you don't have to. Niliwambia kuna mzee nilienda kuzika akiwa Itawan. Hakukojeka, aliji No kwe, no gora tu. Hey, amepeleka gari yake nyumbani, anajinyosha kidogo. Na ikaishia hapo hiyo story ikaishia pale. Na mimi nikasema, sio ni kifo mzuri sana kedhai. Yaani nimemaliza kazi, nimepaki gari, nimefanya shawa, nimekula chakula, watu wangu nimeomba nao, alafu nimejinyosha tu. Kujinyosha tu, alafu ninajinyosha tu. Wakini guza wanasikia niko na moto lakini sitani. Wanasema niko tu. Wakini pereka wanambia huyu alisha. Alisha enda. Hata mkuita arudi. Amesha cross the valleys. May God give some of us the years that we have asked him for. Even with the scare of cancer that comes now and then, we can still live until we are sure our time to go has come. Anapoleta mregesho, analeta furaha pia. May the Lord not only restore you, but give you his joy. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Bibiria inasema katika saburi mia na ishina sita, mstari watano hivi. Wanao panda kwa majonzi, watavuna na wimbo wa furaha. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Wengine tulipanda mwaka wa 2019. Na majonzi mwaka huu tuvune na furaha. Amen. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Marafiki zangu. The joy which has been lost in your life, my friends. You've been struggling to find a new song. Look to God for restoration. He will renew your joy. Restore a song in your heart. The lost years could well be part of God explaining your pro you in the process. But eventually, it has to work for you. Kuna mama moja ameimba wimbo ninaopenda sana. Sasa mnajua wimbo ninapenda? Huyo wimbo uliimbwa na dada anaitwa Fanny Crosby. She lost her sight in both eyes at a very young age due to a medical mishap. Alipoteza kuona kwake. She could have easily around the circumstances around her challenging the years that followed her to kill her joy 
and remove the song in her heart. Kwa sababu macho imepotea. Angetoa wimbo na awe na huzuni. Mm. But she allowed God to work his plan through what seemed like a tragedy. With no bitterness in her heart. And today, the church is so much alive and I am. Every time I sing a song, blessed assurance. You know, and it is in that song that I have discovered. She does not sing like a blind person. She says, visions of rapture now burst on my sight. And she has no sight. Which sight is that? That is faith in God. Watching, she says, and waiting. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I refuse for circumstance and situation to turn me. God is going to restore me and give me his joy. So that I will rejoice in 2020. I will rejoice in 2020. You know, I like uh, the greetings of one of our founding uh, pastors of Deliverance Church. His name is uh, Apostle Dr. Joe Kyle. If you call him today and he's 80 something, 86, if you call him, hey, Apostle, how are you? He will tell you, more than an average person. Yeye hajakua below average. Above average. And that guy, I wanted to invite him last year because he's still preaching at 86. He's still walking straight and driving himself. Wish you a guy. Hallelujah. So as we, as we begin 2020, let's allow God to renew our joy in the name of the Lord. Second thing that I find when God restores, God's restoration will expand your influence. Influence, Yako. Verse 2 and 3 of Isaiah 54. It says this, Enlarge the place of your tent, stretch your tent curtains wide, do not hold back. Lengthen your cords, straighten your stakes, for you will sp uh, spread out to the right and to the left. Your descendant will depossess nations and settle in their desolate cities. Enlarge, stretch wide, do not hold back, lengthen and strengthen. You see, there are some of you, when we were building this cathedral, I told you, stretch. And some of you did not. But some of us that did, hata tukitua elfu moja, tunasikia ka shemon you. Kwa sababu, hiyo tulitoka. You see? Sio kwamba unahela, lakini when you stretch it, always rudi. Ay. Mwana yesu asifiwe. Some of us will need to stretch ourselves. When you stretch, you cannot go back. Bibiria inasema enlarge, stretch wide, do not hold back, lengthen your... All these words carry a connotation of large expansion. Upanuzi mkubwa. Which is what God's restoration will accomplish. Are you willing to trust God for such expansion? To spread out under his anointing? To see your ministry grow stronger than ever before? Can you enlarge your vision in 2020? Amos 9 and verse 13 says, The days are coming, declares the Lord, where, when the reaper will be overtaken by the plowman and the planter by the trading grapes. That is harvesting at its best. Yani mavuno yanatendeka haraka haraka. Yanakuwa natukilima natukivuna. Yani ata tunapovuna bado tunapanda, bado tunalima. Yani hakuna season ya kukaa ndee. That's what we are talking about. When God restores us, he puts us in a place of influence. We become men and women of influence. Declare to your neighbor, 2020, I will be a woman of influence. Ah, si umuambie kama unamaanisha. Muambie nitaingia hii kanisa na watu watanitazama. Nikiingia watafanya hivi. Hey. Hamunisikii bwana. Nasema ukiingia church, wale wako mbele wanajua kuna mtu ameingia wanasikia to the influence is passing behind them. So they have to You know unajua kuna wengine tukipita hata watu wasikii kuna mtu anapita. But I'm declaring here this church will be full of women, men and women and children of influence. Walking in you walk as a person of influence. Watu wa influence hawaendagi kama wamenyeshewa kama kuku ambaye anaenda kuchinjwa 
amemwagiwa maji you walk like you oh my 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 god 2020 may the lord restore and may the lord give you influence influence inakuaga hivi 1975 mimi nilikuwa shule na mimi sikuwa prefect na kuna watu wananunuliaga chakula si saa hii wanaamini mimi ndio nilikuwa prefect yule mkubwa because what happened me i was born again i love the lord when they did interview for me to become a, a, a prefect i failed because i told them i will not punish anyone i will pray for them kikamata naombea anaokoka walimu wakaniangalia wakaona this guy but that first term hiyo wamenisema siwezi kuwa perfect first term kukawa na mgomo na unajua vijana wa kigoma ugali ndio inakuwa missiles nikapanda kwa meza by the way ni mimi nilikuwa ni mimi nilikuwa nikiombea chakula always nasimama kwa sababu hawako wakijua kuomba walikuwa wakiomba maombi kama hii blessed blessed wakisema amen sahani imetupwa wametoka wana, bakuli wanatupia mlangoni kwa hivyo nikiomba nilikuwa nachukua muda lakini hata nikija kumaliza nilikuwa nikimaliza wengine wacha maliza this day nikawaambia jameni msipikane na ugali wakaweka ugali chini nikawaambia simunitume munitume kwa principle mimi si amesikia nduru sasa msipigane mutulie ugali muweke chini mungependa nimwambie nini mimi sema mwambie tunataka mkate nusu na soda nikamwambia hiyo tu basi tulieni na mtu asipigane na uga imagine mtaharibu hii dining hall na si ndio tutaosha tutavunja meza tutakulia nini si mtulie nikatoka hapo nikaenda kwa principal nikagonga kwake akania na alikuwa anaogopa kwa sababu vijana wa Kigoma walikuwa wanabeba ugali yote wanaenda wanamwaga kwa mlango yake sasa nilikuta anaogopa akaniambia Kimani what can we do? Ambia, they have sent me. All they need is have a loaf of bread. Is that all? Say yeah. Tukaenda tukanunua mkate nikawapatia. When I meet them in the US some of the boys are in form 1 and form 2 they believe I was a prefect. I'm trying to say you can be a man of influence. You don't need a position. You need God to release influence in you. May God cause you to be a woman of influence in the name of the Lord. So that where you work, you you work with like a woman of influence. They think you are the supervisor when you are not. Because unafanyaga kama supervisor. Unajua supervisor angaliagi kusupervisiwa. Anafanyaga kazi bila I'm telling some of you students that are here and some principals because I can see two principals here. If you want promotion lile nzuri, influence bila position. Wewe ndio utakuwa ukiitwa kwa principal mnabonga. Si ndio ni siri nakupa. Lakini lazima ufanye kazi bila supervision. The illustration that I have here is the life of Joseph. Joseph is a classic example of God, God can restore the lost years and bring an president and influence into a person's life. Yusuf miaka 12 he lost everything. He lost everything even he thought he had lost his dream. But I can't help but feel that Joseph even at this time was feeling one day my dream will be restored. My dream will be restored even while he was a slave and in prison because why? When he was a slave, he was a slave with influence. He became the boss. He became number 2 in Potiphar's house. Then he went to prison. He became number two. The warden that was taking care of him left him to watch of others. Finally, he becomes number two to Pharaoh. There are some number twos that are here. But God will have to lift your influence level by restoring your dreams that you have dreamed. If I were you, I would say, my dream, my dream, come back. Yes, you get back your dream. And you become a woman or a man of influence. Wamecheza na wewe sana. May your dreams come to pass. Ili waseme huyu ni yeye, ni yeye, ni mimi tu. Ni ndoto yangu imetimilika. When God restores, what does he do? He brings influence also to me. That story of Joseph is found in the book of Genesis. 
and you know I talked about the life of Joseph hata kama sijamaliza nitamaliza sijamaliza nitamaliza nimebakisha zingine mbili so you need to believe god for greater influence in 2020 our church has become of influence in this place and i will tell you when we came here nobody wanted to associate with us niliomba watu watupatie mahali tujenge walipo karibu kutupatia wakaambiwa sisi ni cult church nyingine ilikuwa ile tukanyimwa mahali but today the same people who said we were a cult they honor me they respect me because we later became a church of influence what i'm saying is that those that have said things about you wait for 2020 when god restores he brings influence with it in the mighty name of jesus and some of you when god gives you that great influence usitusahau number 3 god's restoration will remove your shame i love this when god restores shame pulls the shame away in the book of isaiah 54 verse 4 and 6 the bible says this surely he took upon our pain and bore our suffering no 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 do not be afraid you will not be put to shame do not fear disgrace you will not be humiliated you will forget the shame of your youth and remember no more the reproach of your widowhood for your maker is your husband the lord almighty is his name the holy one of israel is your redeemer he is called the god of all the earth the lord will call you back as if you are a wife deserted and distressed in spirit a wife who married young only to be reject, rejected says your god yani kutakuwa na uregesho oh i love that do not be afraid you will not suffer same do not fear disgrace you will not be humiliated you will forget the shame of your youth and remember no more the reproach of your widowhood you know our god has amazing ability to restore us from our shame and failures the passage in joel 2 says you will praise the name of the lord your god who has worked wonders for you never again will people be ash- be shamed or ashamed of you verse 26 for added emphasis the lord reiterates the same thought in the other verses that follow that god woo, have you have 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 you ever have you ever tried to do something and people have pushed you out okay let me let me use um, millicent has a choir person comes to join the choir na hawana sauti na umejaribu kuwasaidia na ikashindikana alafu wakahama church wakahama church alafu tukikaa kidogo tu nasikia wametoa CD ya worship hiyo ndio Mungu ufanya anakuondolea aibu unakuwa worship leader Kuimba kwaya hujui. <laughs> when, when we started church here and Mogo was here, all of my local church council members used to lead worship. No, it was Samson. Samson. They used to lead worship. So Samson leading worship here on a Sunday morning. Can you imagine? I'm just saying imagine. Right? You are not taking it. Na tulijaribu. Sasa sisi na ndugu tulikuwa wachezaji wa gita. Sisi ndio sisi ndio tulikuwa hawa vijana. <laughs> ndugu anaanza na KC. Kwa hivyo tunaishika vizuri, tunaanza. Anaruka baka tunafika mahali tunamkimbiza tunamkimbiza kujaribu kupiga gitaa sisi ndio tunachoka yeye yeah, anaendelea tukumsifu mungu yeye yeah, ni worshipper yeye yeah, sio mtu wa kuimba hizo makwaya zenu yeye yeah, ni wale watu wanataka ngoma ndio ngorama 
ili ambayo haina mabiti unapiga ya naruka tu anaruka hiyo ndio kitu but you know there are some of those people today god has blessed them they have gotten into what god has called them and god has removed the shame that they had before some are wonderful pastors today because god has a way of turning your shame i'm talking to people that have been embarrassed a number of times you know maybe you are a stammerer may god turn your stammering into a preacher who will not stammer at all hallelujah yani mungu akubalishe hiyo aibu mwambie jirani yako bwana ananitoa kwa aibu i'm coming out from the shame the place of shame the place of shame so there is someone who instead of singing in the church choir he couldn't join it but later he became very powerful as a worshiper now how it works i don't know sijui lakini unaweza sikiza worshiper hana hizo miondoko lakini akishika mic tuabudu mnaanza kulia May God turn your shame because restoration has a way of pulling you from whatever is embarrassing you to where God wants you to be. 2020 no shame. God is going to pull my shame and embarrassment away because I'm going to be a woman or man of influence and I'm going to have the joy that I've lost many years. The tears that I've made I'll not cry anymore. Sili tena sasa ni kumshukuru Mungu. Amen. Amen. Umelia miaka mingi. Sasa si kumshukuru Mungu na akupe influence na kuondolea aibu. Ya ine, nilisema ine kwa sababu nilikwambia naweza sema nyingi lakini wacha nimalizie e, nisiende sana kwa sababu huu ni mwaka wa uregesho. You know God delights to remove our shame. When Jesus suffered on the cross, he took all our shame upon him. He paid the price for our sin and failures and you are therefore not allowed to battle in shame and humiliation he took it if jesus is in your life he will take care of your sorrows and your worries number 4 god's restoration will push back i like this the opposing forces may god push back the forces that have been attacking you may god ja- you know and sometimes when i speak this some of you look at me like you have no force there are people here who are fighting battles some within yourself some from your friends some from uh, relatives and so on there are people who look down on you but may god push your enemies and the forces that are fighting you back in the name of the lord Right now it may look like those opposing you have overcome you because 2019 it was horrible but Alice has reminded us What did she tell us we are At what At what We have already escaped That's it If they were chasing you you have already escaped It might look like those opposing you it's like they they thought they have won as if the enemy has won the battle for some it may seem like the waging tongues have done a damage on you you know there are some people who speak so evil about you you will not succeed you are hopeless you are useless hata kizugu ujui and the other day i listened to somebody who said governor wetu waache kisungu mingi And then when I told Mogo that he, he he made fun of a doctor his 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 daughter is married uh, married by somebody from the lakeside lakeside so the, when he went to the funeral of the of the mother in law to his daughter the son to the mother spoke kijalua little and then said niwieni radhi I will speak in English because there is nobody in Luland who does not know English. (laughs) 
<laughs> of course, Millicent and Kaunda knows it is not true. But it is the only mchezo hile watu wanachataka na watu wa huko waongea kiswahili, wanaongea English. No, 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 no. <laughs> but he was making joke. But they all said, yes! He only saw We ongea English. He's a doctor though, but he was making fun. <laughs> so, what they were saying is that, wacha kizungu mingi. Now, say what the problem is. Sort out the problem. Wacha kikuyu mingi. You know, these governors, they have a lot of idioms. Wacha! Wacha hizo stories ako. Kuna maji na watu wa meangu. Nyumba zimeanguka. Come and solve them out. Kuna watoto wanataka kuenda shule. Come and solve them out. Wacha hiyo kikamba yako mingi. 2022. You know, God will restore those forces. Even the tongues that people have spoken against you. The Bible says that you and I are going to condemn them. 2020 is the year to condemn them. Walio sema haita tendeka kwako, waone ikitendeka. Walio sema kwenu wakuta pakiwa gari, waone kuna gari mepakiwa kwenu inje. Walio sema hakuna mtu wataenda university, waone kuna wawiri wame graduate. Walio sema, hey! Walio sema kwenu wakuta kuwa na mbuzi, kuwa na mafuriko itoe mbuzi mulimani, ilete baka kwenu, kwani kuna ubayagani. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm saying God has a sense of humor. Anybody who have said, <laughs> see, I told you, me, I, we used to have a neighbor he, who was a dresser. But because we did not know anything else, we thought he's a doctor. So when I grew up and I discovered he was a dresser, I felt very embarrassed. And the way he, treat, he mistreated my father and myself and everybody. 1960, wakanunua baskiri, uyo dresser. 1962, wakanunua radio. <laughs> Tukisikiza, anazima. Akijua tuko kwa ukuta, anazima. <laughs> Na tunataka kusikia kama kenyata. Anazima. My father akasema, nitu hoe gai. Tuobe. E aratika, anguka thika 1963, pap. African retail traders. Malipo ya polepo? Baba akaenda akachukua radio akaleta nyumbani. Akakamu akambiri akaenda akachukua baskiri akaleta nyumbani. What are you talking about? <laughs> there is someone I'm saying they have said it will not happen. May the Lord bring an era near you in the name of the Lord or someone be sent to you. Mtu atumwe. Kwenu. Aza baskiri ni kitu ya kuringa nao Lakini ndamani zile Baskiri Ilikuwa something Tulipo enda naivasha karateka ya kolino nao Tulikuwa tukienda nao Na tunarudi nao Inae kwa basi juu Sasa ukitumwa kuenda karate madukani Wale wakino na wangalia tu kwa See how little it is. They said it, God did it. Waza uyo dakteri ya kasama, mimi sitaona high school kwa macho. Watoto wake wote, walio ona high school ni wale walikuja nyuma yangu. Mimi nilienda mwanzo. Alikuwa mechukia baba yangu, sijuwa ni mudharao kwa nini. Akini baba yangu alikuwa na muamini mungu. Ete kia gayo tigane na thini. Yeah. That's it. Whatever has been spoken ill about you, 2020, may the Lord turn it around. May the Lord remember you. Sasa kuenda university, sahi, unaweza teacher mtu nayo? Ayi. Wakatu wetu diyo likuwa kitu. Kwa hali likuwa moja tu, there was one university. Moja tu. Nilikuta kumekuja moja. Kwa sababu bere yangu wa kinambogo hakukua. Kini nikija. 
nikakuta kuna kamoja kamefunguliwa kalikuwa college kakakuwa university saa hii tunalinga na kwa tunaita the university of nairobi the university of nairobi tulikuwa tunapigania bwana kwenda pale he nilipofanya form 4 kitu cha kwanza nilikosa ni kwenda form 5 si umeona nimekosea mbali Haleluya. Lakini nimesoma. <laughs> Saa hii nimesoma. Kwa sababu kuna wakati kulifuka university zikawa nyingi hata ukienda hapa juu nakuta university, ukiteremka hapa chini kuna university, ukienda hapo bere kidogo kuna ama hujui hapa kuna university moja ukienda hapo kidogo ha, kuna university ingine ukienda enda kidogo hii barabara iko na university kama sita hii barabara hapa. Leo mdo tayari kwenda kwa university ni yule ataki. I'm saying this. I hope you are getting my point. That when God removes the shame, even the people that talked ill about you, we are going to because when God restores, he will push back the forces that oppose us. You can read that for yourself, Isaiah 54 verse 11 to 17. But I want to come and try to to wind up by saying this. The plastic surgeons can do almost anything with a person's nose today. Au madaktari wanaweza cheza na pua yako leo. Ukitaka iwe ya msungu wanaweza kuitengenesa iwe ya msungu. Ya msungu inakuwa mrefu kidogo chai ndio wanawekaka nusu. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Those are the jokes that we had when we were growing up. They can do that. They can play around with your nose today. Except the only thing they cannot keep is the nose to keep it out of other people's business. Hiyo hawezi. Na hiyo ndio Mungu anaweza. Hao watu wanaweka pua kwa kwako nyumbani you will condemn them. God will give you the power to condemn the doctors cannot sort it out. May God give you that grace. May you not run away. May you stand against those forces. May you speak back to them I liked the testimony I gave you here the other day we we went to our brother Kimari's place and uh, a brother in law a father in law to his sister gave a testimony what amazed me about the testimony is alianguka kwa shimo Eh? akaanguka kwa shimo futi kama mita sita akaanguka hii kitu tunakanyanga hiyo inaitwa makanyangio ikatoka pale makanyangio ikasonga mpaka hapa meaning mugu ikasonga mpaka hapa nataka ufikirie uchungu hiyo sasa kwanza ni uchungu ikafika hapa akaenda kenyata daktari akamwangalia akamwambia hii inatakiwa kukatwa. Na akaangalia daktari akamwambia daktari ile itaanza kukatwa kwanza ni yako. <laughs> I'm saying in the year 2020 be ready to answer back. Speak again as whoever wants to bring you down. When they say it cancel it in the name of the Lord. Wakisema wewe ni mjinga unaambia mimi sio mjinga katika jina la Yesu. Au tanawiri unasema mimi nitanawiri katika jina la Yesu because God is the one who has the power. Oh my goodness, I love 2020 is the year of restoration. Huyo mzee tulipomuona huko hakuwa na mti na mkogojo, alikuwa anakajaga vile ninakanyanga. Paka ninaangalia yeye. Paka nikasalimia yeye. Paka nikamwambia si utembee kanisa yetu siku moja utoe hiyo ushuhuda. Hii makanyangio iko hapa. Na Bwana aliivuruta ikarudi pale. Huyo ndiye anaitagwa Mungu. Na kuna wengine hapa Bwana atakutendea muujiza kama yule. But you have to answer back. Tell your neighbor answer back. What have they told you answer back? Because when God restores he will give us the grace to speak back to those. 
Isaiah says, I will build your foundation, your battlements, your gates and all your walls. Verse 11 to 12. Verse 14 says, you will be established. Tyranny will be far from you. You will have nothing to fear. Terror will be removed. It will not come near you. Verse 15 says, whoever attacks you will surrender to you. Verse number 17. No weapon forged against you will prevail. And you will refute every tongue that accuses you, declares the Lord. Ay. Siyo ni mungu. Whew. 2020. Tell your neighbor 2020. The year of restoration and demonstration of his power. Psalms 18 verse 48 in the New, New, New Living Translation says, You hold me safe beyond the reach of my enemies. When God restores, he will hold you safe and the enemies cannot reach you. God's restoration will bring the victory. The power of the Lord, our Lord, is greater than anything that can come against us. What am I saying, brothers and sisters, as we get into 2020? Let's not get weary of waiting upon God because God will make it. And we are starting today to wait upon God for 40 days. Tell your neighbor 40 days. If we wait upon him, God will make it worthy for, yeah, for us to wait. Prepare yourself for the restoration that God is bringing. Even as we wait upon him faithfully every day for 40 days. He will restore all that has been lost during what seems like the lost years. And bring in the autumn and spring rains. Like he says in Joel 2 verse 23. God says, I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. And if I were you, I would say amen. And I will look at the locusts and what they have eaten. So that I can sell God wakaiba hii gift yangu inarudi. Unaangalia pare wameiba imekurwa. Unasema walikuda hii watairudisha. Yani unatafuta. Actually from today why don't you look for the things that the cacaworms and what have eaten so that you can tell the Lord to restore them in the mighty name of Jesus. Four things. When God restores he will renew your joy. When God restores, he will expand your influence. When God restores, he will remove your shame. When God restores, he will push back the forces that oppose you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, some of the people listening to me in this building or outside could have walked without joy for a long time. Their joy has been stolen. Because they were barren in one way or another. Barren, maybe physical, or barren spiritually. The business they did was barren. Whatever they did was barren. But you are telling us to rejoice. Because when you restore, you will also restore our joy. May you restore the joy to someone tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, when you restore, oh my God. You expand our influence. We pray, dear Father, that from today, 2020, people will see us, but we will walk as men and women of influence in our places of work in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, 2020. Oh, some of us have been walking down, looking down, being ashamed and humiliated. But when you restore, you are going to remove shame from us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we pray that our enemies, we are going to push them back in the name of Jesus. Whatever enemy it was, we want to push that enemy back. Would you stand in this congregation and lift up your hands? You know, was it the joy stolen? You want God to restore? Was it influence that had been stolen? You want God to expand? Is it shame that has come upon you? You want God to remove shame? Is it forces of people that are fighting you? You want God to push them back? If it is any of those, would you open your mouth and tell God, 2020, this thing will happen. If it is joy, God will restore. If it is influence, God will expand. If it is shame, God will remove. If it is the enemy, you're going to push them back. 
Would you open your mouth? Fungua mdomo yako hata kama hujui kuomba. Sisi Bwana niregeshe furaha. Bwana niondolee aibu. Bwana unisukumie mipaka. Bwana adui zangu wasonge nyuma katika jina la Yesu. Lazima ujifundishe kuongea na mdomo wako. Na usiogope jirani yako. Hata yeye ana zake. Ongea zako katika jina la Yesu. Father in the mighty name of Jesus, the whole of this congregation in 2020 we declare that father it will not only be restoration but there is going to be demonstration demonstration will take place people will see it it will be echoed abroad in the mighty name of Jesus we will walk dear father and not faint we will run and not be weary because God you are going to do a new thing oh I want to thank you I want to give you praise heavenly father in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord.